Hello, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to access or open safe mode. And before we start guys, you can always join the community right here. At our fix and query, we will help you with these type of problems. If you have like a problem going to safe mode, something like that, you can join this community and ask for help and let's start. So guys, the first thing we want to do is go to our PlayStation 4 and close it down like this. Just hold the power button and bam, it's closed. So now we want to wait till the white light goes away. So guys, like you see, the white light is not there anymore. So what you want to do guys is hold the power button till you hear two beeps like this. One beep right there, still holding it, and a second beep right there. So that's how we activate safe mode, and let's go back to the screen. So guys, if you did it correctly, you will see this screen right here. So now what you want to do guys is connect to DualShock 4 using the USB cable, and then press the PS button. You wanna just connect the DualShock 4, with your PlayStation 4 and that's it. So let's press the PS button. And now we see this screen right here. So I'm gonna explain all of them and let's start off with number one. So guys, if you have like problems with starting your PlayStation 4, things like that, what you can do is just go to save mode and choose option number one restart PlayStation 4 if there will be like a hard reset uh, like a hard restart so you can always try that if you can't access your PlayStation 4 number two change resolution so this actually just changes your resolution on your screen uh, if you want like 720p or like uh, 1080p you can just choose that or you can just make it automatic number three it just updates your system software so if there is a new update on the PlayStation you can just go here and update it already or if you have like no updates like you can't update your PlayStation you can just go here and just go to number three and then it will just say like a new version. Like you see guys, you can update like a new version. I'm not gonna do it right now, so. But if you already installed the new update, it's, it's like still gonna say that there's a new update. So um, that's a weird glitch, so. Let's go to restore default settings. This means like if you did something on settings, for an example, you change the controls and this just restores all of your settings, what you just did. Rebuild database, this will just delete all of your corrupted data, things like that. If you have like corrupted data that prevents you going to PlayStation or prevents you starting off a game that you want to play it will give you like an error code you can just go to number five rebuild database and try it so it will like I said just delete corrupted files things like that so and let's go to number six initialize PlayStation 4 it will just delete all of your files all of your data everything on your PlayStation 4 on rebuild database it will just only delete corrupted data like I said And the last one, initialize PlayStation 4, reinstall system software. So what this actually is, is just the same, but it requires a USB storage and you need to download like a file from playstation.com uh, for the reinstallation. So uh, this is a little bit of a hard one. And if you are gonna do this, you don't actually need to, but like, this causes a lot of errors, things like that. So I suggest you guys just don't do this one. 
if you have like problems with your PlayStation 4 starting up or things like that, what I suggest you to do is rebuild database, corrupted files that may corrupt your PlayStation 4. Um, you can try to update your PlayStation. And if that doesn't work out, guys, is just initialize your PlayStation 4. If you can't start off your PlayStation, just you have to initial initialize your PlayStation. So, and to get out of safe mode, guys, it's just simple. Restart your PlayStation 4. Let's do that right now. So safe mode is actually pretty uh, safe to use. And it's actually pretty helpful if you have like situa situations like this, when you can't start off your PlayStation or if you want to update your PlayStation or I don't know things like that and like I said guys you can always go to communities and ask for help by the way guys sorry for my voice I'm a little bit sick and tired so that's why I'm talking so quiet and uh, a little bit weird Error fix and query, like you see, we will help you with these type of problems. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye. Take care of yourself.